funny bastard. How you guys doing? Hell yeah, dude. Front row? Hell yeah. All right, so, hell yeah. So, um, where, are you, where are you from? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't want to torture you like that, dude. I, I torture myself enough. A fucking gorgeous mustache on Max, right? How about that? I can't... Dude, I grew a mustache like a couple months ago, and my sister's like, you look like a pedophile. Mm. So I had to grow out the beard. And I'm like, what is... I got a little offended. What the fuck is that? What is the what is the mustache stigma with pedophiles, right? Have you ever heard that? Like, if someone grows a mustache, they say, oh, you like to touch kids? I'm like, what? <laughs> mustache is fucking class. My dad had one all through the 80s, so he's not doing well. Um, <laughs> dude, I don't. I never understood the mustache stigma. Like, literally, you could look back at the history of pedophilia, the goats, and not one of them had a mustache. Seriously, let's do it together, right? How about Jerry Sandusky? Yeah. Right? No. Cosby. Cosby. I mean, he liked, I think he liked of age women, but he raped them. It's a little different. They're both bad. Um, fucking Jared from Subway. Nothing. Am I right? How about R. Kelly, right? I think he had a chin strap. Doesn't fucking count. Right? Fucking R. Jeffrey Epstein? Nothing. Michael Jackson, no hair on his body at all. I guess you guys are Michael Jackson fans or whatever. Hey. It's not confirmed. Are you guys ready for more comedy? Or more? <laughs> Next time is coming in from Philly. Very funny dude. Check out his podcast, Deeds Rants. Everybody give it up for Dorian Vasquez, everybody. Yeah. See, I'm an ass man. We got ass men in the room. We got ass, yeah. ass men, ass people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how we're starting. We like them thick here in Jersey. Yeah. Fucking A, dude. Oh, yeah. You know my favorite thing about a thick lady is? Is watching them put on pants. You ever see that? You ever, you ever watch them have to do that little shimmy to get a pair of pants all the way? Yeah, it's like a little dance to celebrate thickness. You know what I'm talking about? They do that little ankle kick to get, the, get their foot in their, their jeans. Yeah. They look at each other. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I love it, man. My girl does that. Every time she does it, it reminds me of a prospector. It's like, there's gold in them cheeks. Like, I have no ass. I pull up my pants like a firefighter. I'm just... Dude, I'm, I'm glad. That's one thing I like about like the progress of time is like we are embracing thickness now, and it is the best. Like As a kid, you know, I was always a big stigma. It was always like, you know, skinny model chicks. And like, I used to fuck with me because it like, now that I'm 30, it really changed all my porn categories a lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the older I got, the thicker my porn got. Like, it's just, it feels better. Like, my porn gained weight like I gained weight with age. You know what I mean? like, as a kid, I used to love office porn. You ever seen office porn? They're all the same. It's always, you know, boss walks over, he's like, hey, you're fired. Chick's like, yeah, hold on. And, <laughs> you know, saves your job. <laughs> When I was 14, I'm like, I can't wait to work in an office. <laughs> now I'm 31. I've, you know, now I'm 31. I've worked in an office. I'm like, yeah, she's still not qualified. <laughs> yeah, this is why the country went to shit, right? Like, how does she get a 401k? I'm gonna fucking 401k. Like, <laughs> now, now my favorite genre of porn is a uh, short, skinny dudes that bang tall, curvy ladies. That's uh, that's the best. Amazon porn, it's the shit. That's what I call it. It's fucking great. I don't even get off to it. I'm just five foot four. I'm just happy to see us win. You know I mean? <laughs> we don't get much. Short men, every victory counts. Watching these fucking kings, these short kings just out here. <laughs> fucking laying pipe like it was on an Indian reservation. <laughs> <laughs> Does my heart good. <laughs> it's inspiring. That's what it is. Like Nothing like watching a dude who looks like me just out there just fucking going for it. And, I watch short guy porn the way old white men watching it of Rudy. Like, I, I, I start clapping. You know what I mean? I get that tear in my eye. I'm just like, hey, yeah, you did it, little buddy. Mm, stupid. Let's see. It sucks being short. It does. Like, the worst part is uh, just managing your own confidence. Like, if you show too much, you come off like a dickhead, not enough, you come off pathetic. Every day I tell that line between, like, King Joffrey and the Bagel Boss. <laughs> you guys remember Bagel Boss? Like, you remember that? Yeah. A fucking idiot. Like, dude, you know what that video taught me as a short guy? Is if you have to look up to yell at somebody, calm down. Right? Like, you don't fucking, you don't look, you're not a real dad. Like, you don't look good at all. You're fucking 40. You're probably in a union. Like, you need to relax. You're not my boss. You're not my dad. You're fucking... Ugh. It's actually the one thing that makes me hate that I hate about other short people is like, dude, why are you so fucking insecure? It's okay to be short, you know what I mean? Like, 
You know, like, I don't know. That's the thing I hate with, like, other short dudes. Like, one of my buddies, he's so insecure. He's got so many hangups about being short that he buys, like, specialty short man clothing. Like, he gets, like, lifted. He wears, like, fucking leprechaun shoes, like those beetle boots with a buckle on it and shit. Like, to feel just an inch taller. You know what I mean? It's like a lifted shoe. He buys, like, these specialty short man shirts. It's like... It's like it's a tight shirt with a small pocket on the front. He's like, it makes me look proportioned. Like, you look far away. <laughs> I've been standing here and I'm yelling at you. <laughs> like, you look like a fucking dork. You know what I mean? Like, just dress normal. Like, fucking dress like Chris Kattan in the Roxbury movie. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, why are you doing that? Like, dude, like, it doesn't make you look better. <laughs> It's stupid insecure. I don't know. Maybe I don't have that insecurity because I'm Hispanic. You know what I mean? Like we're kind of built short. Like this is like this is this, this is the model for most Hispanics. You know, fucking short stature, hairy ass, big dick. It's fucking awesome. Like, fucking, it's the shit. Like every migrant worker you met has a hammer. You know what I mean? Like it's just, that's dumb. I am Hispanic. I'm a light skinned Hispanic though. The rest don't like me. Like, like all my life I got told how white I look only to find out I don't have privilege you know fucking stinks I look white enough to ask for the manager but not enough to get what I want you know what I mean <laughs> fucking sucks socially it's the worst kind to be like other Latinos don't like you and white people don't trust you yeah Oh, thank you <laughs> I'll clean your glass ceiling later <laughs> Yeah, the only cool part is, like, uh, like most of my life I've dated black girls and black dudes have seemed to respect me for that, like, which is kind of cool, you know what I mean? It's, it makes me feel good. Nothing like walking down the block holding hands with, like, a pretty black girl. Hear a dude behind you be like, hey! turn around, 40-year-old black guy just pointing, like, go ahead, young bull. I don't know if this is racist, but, um... Have you noticed that encouragement always sounds better when it comes out of old black people? Like, you ever hear an old black lady be like, go ahead, baby? Like, that fucking feels good. Yeah. That's my favorite, like, old black lady. He's like, go ahead, baby. And boy, you crazy. Like, that's, that's how you know you're funny as shit. Like, I love old black women. I used to work in an office, right, with a lot of older black ladies. And that was always cool because, like, they would just, like, play the radio and shit. And it was always music. I, I'm such a fucking old man. I listened to, like, a lot of old school, like, R&B and funk. So a lot of Zapp and Roger, Parliament, Earth, Wind and Fire. And it was something that I can get along with somebody of a completely different generation. It was almost like a romantic type of, like, vibe that you can connect with somebody just through me. I'm going to fuck so many old black ladies. <laughs> like, I'm going to bang them like this. Like... <laughs> The whole time she'd be going, go here, baby. <laughs> I wrote that joke before I started dating a white woman. That's uh, yeah. I like it. I, I, I currently date a white lady. I don't do that often, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of mixed with white, but, you know, very rarely a fucking purebred. So, it's nice. It's pleasant. <laughs> it's nice. She's changing me, but it's, like, not a bad kind of, like, I'm on time for shit now. It's... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I, it's nice. She gave me, like, now I have an affinity for the great British baking show. It's kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> only thing, the only thing that sucks is I can't steal around her because she'll tell. <laughs> I tried to pocket a candy bar at CVS the other day. She was like, Dorian Vasquez! <laughs> Just right in the middle of the store, hands on her hips. She used my whole government name. I was like, get shit around you. <laughs> I like to steal groceries. Y'all fucks with stealing? I don't know. I do it all the time. Yeah, groceries you should steal. Like, look, this is my rule of thumb since I hit 30. If it has an expiration date, it's free. Like, why am I going to pay for something that's going bad? Gas station bananas? Like, I will steal the fuck out of a gas station banana. I don't know what gas, like, Sunoco, Wawa, it doesn't matter what gas station. They all throw them out when they get the little, like, the little freckles on them. It's illegal to sell you a banana when it's good. Like, that's stupid. You know you don't have to pay for eggs. You could just crack them into a Ziploc and hide it. Right. <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, <laughs> why not steal? You know, little do 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 when you walk out of Target. You know, whenever fucking do do apples. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 dumb. I don't know. I got I got really good at stealing the last couple years. It's uh, it's one of those things that I. I I just became more thrifty as I got older. That's really what it is. Like, I only own this hat. Like, all my clothes from the thrift store, I'll steal occasionally. I bought a used 
gun. Like, it's fucking <laughs> sick. He made it so much easier to steal groceries, you know? <laughs> I don't even go to the store now, I just wait in the parking lot. <laughs> it's like, run them chewy bars. Alright, uh, I got the lights, so I gotta get out of here soon. This is nice, man. I'm glad that we're actually doing shows inside. I think Jersey was one of the first places to open back up. And yeah, man, fucking big ups to Jersey. I like it, man. I'm glad, like, comedy's coming back, fucking, like, outdoor shows. Everything's kind of like movies. The theaters are opening back up. Fucking school shootings are on their way, you know? They're <laughs> oh fucking coming back, baby! You know what? You know what? You know what bugged me about the about Zoom about Zoom school is like it, it made me realize how lazy most of these kids are. Like nobody could go Google an address, just kill the people you don't like. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking bitch ass kids out here. <laughs> it's home school shootings. You know I was waiting for homeschool shootings. That's a <laughs> some kid just get fed up like fuck you mom like. <laughs> It's dumb. Every documentary I've seen on school shootings has been the same. It's always like, you know, this is such a toxic environment that like the like the bully is always like some campus hero, you know, some sports dude beat the rival school's football team so he gets a pass on everything. And it got me thinking where school shooters got it wrong, shoot up the rival school. Like you could be the campus hero, you know? <laughs> Imagine Teen Wolfing your way up the social ladder, like you just kicking the door to the right school, just like Burr! Go Tigers! You'd be, you'd be prom king! Alright, I'm done. Thank you. Alright, it is a shooting crowd. Thank you, Christ. Dorian Vasquez, everybody. Give it up for... Um... How are you guys doing? Good? That was fucking beautiful, guys. Jesus Lord. What Bob Max was talking about being broke and he was talking about out-of-fit clothes. Dude, all my, none of my clothes fucking fit me. Who's broke? Anybody broke? Fuck yeah.